I found myself up to my neck in the war before I knew it. Before I saw it coming. I was never much for politics. The rivalries between the water guilds was something that didn't concern me. I was a teenager, and I had my own set of problems. Thinking back, I was a pretty carefree kid living a good life. My friends and I got together to talk and do nothing most every night. And then one morning, the soldiers came to take me away, me and a lot of other guys from the neighborhood, to defend the guild. I think I was actually proud at first. They gave me a uniform and a gun. And then I understood. Up close, war doesn't make you a hero. It makes you tired. It's nothing more than bloody marches. Blistering days, men stacked up against each other in sweaty trenches, stinking, covered in lice. So exhausted we can't sleep, shaken from the thought of what the next night will bring. The night, infernal marches, tramping through blood and shit. Herded like cattle by overzealous officers, sending wave after wave of idiots like me, off to get butchered, screaming at us like it was all our fault. Stupid kids who shit themselves at the first sight of a blade, and cried like babies when ordered back to the front. It could have gone on like that until I ended up face down in the dirt, but I was one of the lucky ones, captured and stuck in a wagon full of guys I barely knew. They rounded us up and tossed us in a cattle car, packed in like mutants, and sent us far away behind enemy lines. I don't know if it's night or day. I completely lost track of time. Nothing really mattered to me anymore. You are now in Camp 19. If you watch your step, we will get along just fine. Prisoners to Camp 19. Get off the train and stand in line. They shoved us out, lined us up, and welcomed us to our new home. You're about to meet the sandpit. I want every one of you clean within the hour. You will then be taken to the registration office. You will inform them of what you know how to do, and you will be assigned a post and a bunk. Now, get going. Fall out. A new day. At least we got a chance to clean ourselves up, even if all we had was sand. Fellas, fresh meat. Uh, it just makes my day. I was getting tired of drilling the same old asses. Hey, you're not bad looking either. Get out. <gasps> yeah, you got a new pretty mouth. Tongue. 
What are you, special? Is that it? Huh? You a nutcase. Maybe you get off watching. Go take a seat. After all, this is the only entertainment you're getting, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that right, guys? Uh-oh. <clears throat> hey, you just won't stop yakking, will ya? Spit it out, you got something to say. <sighs> What's that? Speak up! Nobody can understand your squeaking, boy. We want to find you, we will. This place ain't big enough to hide from us. You crazy. You need to be put down. Uh, huh. What are you, insane? You looking for pain? You mental? Fucked in the head? Nah, nah, I don't need this. You're already dead. Sick fuck. Just think about what you're gonna do to this poor bitch. Brings a tear to my eye. I, I just can't watch. I'm sensitive. Forget it, guys. This cunt's not normal. I don't want to catch what he's got. <laughs> 